Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to do kind of a support video for my video on Altoids Tin Survival Kits. This is how to make the Vaseline cotton balls. So, I'm sure pretty much everyone's got cotton balls in their house. You need two cotton balls, you need Vaseline or an equivalent, petroleum jelly, any brand. And the only other thing you might not have is these little tiny bags, which are kind of cool. I mean, you can use a Ziploc, but I think I got this bag of 100 little tiny bags at the Arts and Crafts store. I think it was about three bucks. I'm gonna use a perfect size to hold two of these cotton balls. So I'm gonna get that open and ready to roll here. Things are about to get messy. So the cool thing about these fire starters are um, they're practically free to make, very, very cheap to make, and each one will burn for five minutes, so you gotta two pack here so you got two five minute shots or if you want to make a fire and it's not that wet or anything you can break these apart and get several shots out of each one you can use them to start your fire so some people just swab that in the jelly but only a little bit of jelly gets on there we want to saturate this thing so you get a big glob and you start rotating this and wiping it in and trying to saturate the whole outside and you'll start to see and feel the difference on the areas that that are done it starts to kind of shrink down the fibers compress this whole cotton ball a little bit and you can feel the difference when it kind of stops sucking in the petroleum jelly so just do a little bit more for this one this one's done that's it that's good and it's messy, but I mean, at the end of the day, when you're done doing these, you made a bunch, you wipe your hands off with a paper towel, and then your skin feels so lovely, so nice. It's moisturizing. I don't know what the heck that was. This thing's just popping my head. Anyway, so here we go with this one. I have these uh, in all my survival kits. And that one's done. So just getting it in the bag is the tricky part. Because everything's so slimy now. That nah, wasn't too bad. And you seal it up. And then we're just going to wipe it off. Get the extra stuff on the outside. That is it, you guys. 